Mercury is very toxic. At no point should you be playing or tampering with Mercury unless you are a professional. Why am I playing with Mercury, you ask? Because I'm a professional. Before we begin, just a quick history lesson. Back in the gold rush days, the gold miners actually used to dump mercury in the river in order to locate the gold. Mercury actually sticks to gold really well. And being such a heavy, dense liquid, it's easy for the liquid to go and find these bedrock cracks where gold is typically hiding. So the gold miners would dump it in the river, go back in the river, suck up the little pools of mercury, and then burn off the mercury, then retrieving the gold. Now, unfortunately, not all the mercury was found, but once in a while, gold miners like myself will go into the river, find this mercury, and then recover it, making a cool video like this to hold Hopefully earn your subscription and a like. As you can see, the mercury likes to go into little balls and that's because of its very high surface tension. You can really tell how heavy it is too. So I just want to demonstrate how heavy this stuff is. Mercury is 13.5 times heavier than water. This is what that looks like. Watch what happens when I put a penny on top of the mercury. <laughs> the penny just floats because the mercury is much more dense than the penny. Now let's try the same thing with a lead bullet. Again, it floats. Let's drop it from a higher height. Still floats. Now, I want to show you what happens when mercury comes in contact with gold. The gold will float like any other metal, but I want to show you what it looks like when it's coated. As you can see, the mercury is attaching itself to the gold. This actually cleans up all the imperfections on the surface of the gold, and once you burn it off, it is much more clean, but also extremely toxic. You do not want to inhale those fumes, hence why we are wearing masks. Because I'm a professional! So I want to coat it for a little longer and see if we can get it completely covered in mercury. Could have found it. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a mercury gold nugget. In order for me to safely recover the gold, I'm going to have to use what's called a retort. I'll show you what that is and how to use it in a few minutes. Another method you could use to recover gold using mercury is if you have a little bit of concentrates, mainly magnetite. What you would do is dump the mercury into the concentrates and you'd shake it. The mercury would then attach itself to the gold and then you'd burn that off, recovering the gold. So we already have a little bit of gold in this magnetite. But I'm going to add more for a good example and then we're going to add mercury, then use the retort to recover both the gold and the mercury. And you don't need a lot of mercury. That should be good enough. And now we're going to do some experiments, just for fun. I call this the Lego Stairway. So I built this scientific Lego contraption in like two seconds. What I want to do with it is see if we can get the mercury to run all the way down the stairs. For no other reason than it looks cool. That is so cool. We're just trying to make this super straight so it doesn't fall off the edge. Take two. Oh, look at that. So you having fun yet? Yes, we're still alive. So I just put the mercury away for a few minutes here. Now I can breathe. Something else that I wanted to know is if mercury is metal detectable. Let's find out. So my theory is that it will be metal detectable because mercury is a metal. But because it's liquid, for some reason I'm thinking it might not work. I don't know. Yeah, it's absolutely detectable. Oh, look, a nugget. Now let's see if this mercury is magnetic. Do a little more than that. Ooh. 
So metal, when it's wet, it doesn't like to grab as well as if it were dry. Because this is liquid, I don't think this will work. We have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit stuck on the side there. And there's no way you're gonna get zoom in like that. I say we need a much more powerful magnet for this to work. Now it's time to clean the mercury off our gold nugget and get the gold out of the magnetite. So this is a retort. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is what she is. It's basically just a tool made from steel. And what you do with it is you take the lid off and you put your mercury cocktail into that little crucible. Once that's done, you put the chamber back over top of it. You heat this top part here and then the mercury vapors have nowhere to go but down. So as they travel down, they'll eventually reach these little holes at the bottom here where the moment the mercury vapors hit the water, they turn back into liquid mercury, making it super easy to suck up and store away. Then of course, you're left with clean gold that you can take home and cash for a new Lamborghini. Now, before we begin, I'm just gonna show you that there are no holes or cracks in our protective tube. So since it's a little more difficult to work with our black sand, I thought we would start off by removing the mercury off our nugget first, and for practice. Here goes something. Ah. So evaporating this much mercury is not gonna take long at all, but I got Brian to do the burning because I am too much of a chicken. So that's about as long as it takes to burn away mercury from one tiny piece of gold, but we'll show you in a second. We're just waiting for it to cool down. That looks like gold. So there we go. A nice clean gold nugget. I kind of thought we'd see the mercury roll out of the holes from beneath it, but no, it turns out that you just sat there like cute little pieces of mercury. So I've given her black sand and mercury here a few days to get to know each other. And so I'm assuming now all the pieces of gold that are in here are now covered. I wanted to burn all the mercury at one time so I can get all the gold together, but this retort is way too small for that. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna pick out the gold that I see and then I'm gonna burn those pieces of gold and then later on another video, we'll get a bigger retort and we'll burn the fine stuff that's still in the liquid. So I didn't wanna dump all this out into a pan, but I'll recover it later. But for now, let's just get it all in. Oh, look at that. It actually makes it so much easier seeing that the mercury it separates itself from the, the magnetite. The best way to do this is to literally act like you're washing a panda. And for those of you who don't know, mercury is actually heavier than gold. Hey, look at that. We have a bunch of pieces of gold that you can clearly see are covered with mercury. Now for the time consuming part. It doesn't help that this is black sand and it's heavy as well. This tool works a lot better than tweezers. So these are the pieces of gold that I was able to suck out. Now, unfortunately, there is a lot more fine little pieces of gold that I could get, but it's gonna take forever to suck them all up and try to separate it from the mercury. So again, since there's a lot of mercury there, we're gonna save it till I have a bigger retort. But for now, we're just gonna recover the gold that we have here. So I waited a few minutes, now it's safe to take the mask off again. So I was kind of hoping that we would see the mercury roll out of the bottom, but there is a little lip on the bottom of this retort, so the mercury balls just stood there. But we have some clean gold. Now let's weigh it all up just for fun. Ten ounces, 1.6 grams. So 1.06 grams of candy means we're all gonna buy Lamborghinis. Not really. So even though in my opinion, this was a successful recovery of the mercury, I am still very new and I'm just learning how to do this. And what I thought would happen was that the mercury that was in our jar of black sands and whatnot, I thought the mercury would find all the little pieces of gold and then form into one little ball where then you put it in the retort and you cook it and then all the gold's just sitting there. But really the gold is so fine that in order to recover all the gold, we're gonna have to dump all the mercury in there. But that retort is really small. 
all and that's very dangerous. We still recovered all the mercury that we did have on the gold, but I'm gonna save the rest of the mercury for another video. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, or subscribing to this channel. I'd like to quickly thank both Brian and Martin for helping with this video with the camera work and letting me use their space. And if you wanna see their channels, the link is down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Yes, we're still alive.